Welcome back to Box Office Now, where we go over the latest box office numbers for the week. If we take a look at the daily box office, you can see this week resulted in Avatar maintaining the number one spot, with it actually performing better than last week, with many movies actually turning around since last weekend, having Black Adam fall out of the top 10, and the menu actually moved up a spot. If we look at the movies in order of how they're performing at the box office, the number one spot being Avatar The Way of Water, with $519 million in sales this week, bringing the total to $1.4 billion off of a $460 million budget. This one was actually, it was looking a little sketch for me last weekend, honestly, because of the snow. I didn't know how weather was gonna change. And honestly, I, I thought James Cameron was gonna have a huge issue, but it looks like it's making money. We're just gonna have to see how it continues. If, it's, if it lasts another week or two, I think it's gonna be a success, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. At second, we got Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, gaining $78 million this week, bringing the total to $135 million off of a $130 million budget. I'm glad a good animation is, is gaining some credit, so that's awesome. Coming in at third, we have Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, gaining $19 million in sales, bringing the total to $820 million off of a $250 million budget. Honestly, didn't expect this one to be doing this strong this late in the game, but, you know, it's... Uh, it responded well with audiences, I guess. I don't know, but see if that drops soon. I, I do think with you know one more big release, I think Black Panther is going to probably drop to the seventh or eighth spot next week. But we're just going to have to wait and see what movies come out. At fourth, we got Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody, gaining 18 million, bringing the total to 28 million off of a 45 million dollar budget. Obviously, this one's going to make its money back, but we're just going to have to wait and see if Whitney Houston can attract audiences on the long-term status. Here at fifth, we got Violent Night, gaining 12 million in sales, bringing the total to 73 million off of a $20 million budget. The movie's doing amazing. I missed my opportunity to see it in theaters, but I'm probably just gonna stream it, rent it, you know? But yeah, it looks like a, a really fun movie, so there's no surprise there. At six, we got The Menu, gaining 10 million, bringing the total to 71 million off of a $30 million budget. Honestly, I, I did expect this one to perform better, but that was when I figured it was a horror movie. What it actually is, I don't know if it can, you know, maintain a decent course, but, you know, the menu was a decent movie. My girlfriend wants to buy it, so she, she actually really enjoyed it, but I don't know. I, I felt like it was an average movie for me. The seventh spot is Babylon at $5.7 million earned, bringing the total to $10.7 million off of an $80 million budget. This movie is bombing currently i don't know i don't really understand why uh, i have yet to see it i don't know if it's as really as bad as people have made it out to be or if it's just came at the the worst opportunity you know with the the snowstorm and you know just the terrible circumstance for people that wanted to go to the movies just didn't so i i, I don't know but i don't know it, it looked fun it looked like a an epic movie i don't know maybe the subplots and just the character development just sucks i i have no idea but I'll definitely let you guys know when, when I get around to seeing it. The eighth spot is Strange World, bringing in five million, taking the total to sixty-seven million off of a hundred and eighty million dollar budget. This is also another bomb, for whatever reason <laughs> you want to think. I think it uh, it's definitely not going to make its money. At the ninth spot, we have the whale, bringing in three million, taking the total to six point two, off of a budget that we do not know. So. I don't really know if this movie is is doing great i just don't imagine with the cast they picked if if it's really making enough money to be a success but obviously it, it looks like it's you know it, it hits the heartstrings you know maybe internationally it'll help the whale i don't know but i do want to check it out eventually but i just i don't know if it really resonates with me you know at the 10th spot we have the fablemans gaining 2.4 million in sales, taking the total to 13 million off of a budget of 40 million. Obviously, this is this is a surprise bomb, you know? I, maybe it could potentially make its money back with, you know, uh, on, you know, direct to streaming or or Blu-rays, physical media, but, you know, with it being a Steven Spielberg biopic-ish movie, I would have imagined it would have done a little bit better, but I guess not. New to streaming, we have white noise on netflix me and my girlfriend watched this the other night she was she enjoyed it she just thought it could have been done better uh, i absolutely just was kind of bored you know at, at times it had 
moments where it was entertaining but for the most part i was disappointed which is sad because i was actually looking forward to this I, I do like adam driver and it just it did not click with me and it didn't click with a lot of people i've read reviews online and it's just it's a mess but check it out if you if you can uh netflix also got they clone tyrone haven't seen it yet i might watch it tonight i don't know but you know that's that's pretty much all we have new to streaming lastly let's make some predictions for next week i'm calling my top five now as number one avatar the way of water number two puss in boots the last wish number three black panther wakanda forever number four megan and number five violent night let me know your predictions in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe to join the wolf pack i'll catch you guys later peace Thank mm -hmm. you.